So now let's get on to actually making these HD videos. So I'll use, I'm going to be using Camtasia Studio 6, but it doesn't really matter which program you use. Um, the important thing is, is the actual settings that you use to export your video as. So for, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a video clip that I already have. So I'm going to go to desktop. Alright, double click on my video that I made previously. Now, when you import a video, and you already have to have it recorded in the video dimensions that you want to export the video as, if you don't want to get any of those black boxes. So if you're making an HD video, you already have to have it recorded in video dimensions in, of 1280 by 720. If you have a camera or a cam screen recorder that only makes small videos or an aspect ratio of 4 by 3 there actually is a program out there called Virtual Dub that lets you resize and change the aspect ratio of your videos and I actually made a tutorial about Virtual Dub so you can watch that and then you have a video in any size or aspect ratio that you want so when I move the video to the timeline it's going to ask me which editing dimensions I'm going to use since I'm making an HD video I'm going to use 1280 by 720 but of course if you want to make the small SD video you can do 640 by 480 or if you want to make just a medium widescreen video you can do 640 by 360 I don't want to do that Okay, it's in 1280 by 720 right now. Now you do all your editing and stuff like that. And when you're ready to produce your video or export it, you're gonna go to File, Produce, Video As. It's gonna ask you which video dimensions and format you want to produce it as. So, of course, it already has an HD button for the HD videos and a standard definition YouTube button. Of course, you can um, do the widescreen if you wish with 640 by 360 dimensions. But I'm actually not going to use the HD button because it's going to suggest an MP4 file. Now, you could use MP4 files, but I actually like to use MOV files which are QuickTime movie files because I think they have better quality and they, for some reason the HD doesn't work for me with MP4 files. So I'm going to hit custom production settings. Now I'm going to hit MOV, QuickTime movie. And if you're going to do this, you'll already have to have QuickTime um, downloaded in your computer. And I'll provide the link in the video description for the Apple QuickTime download. So I'm going to hit next. And then it's going to ask me about the QuickTime encoding options. So I'm going to hit QuickTime options. And in video, I'm going to hit on settings. So now that you're in the video settings, you have to use the right encoding options. So this step is actually really important because this is what determines whether your video will be rendered in an HD format or not. So the first thing you have to have for compression type is the H.264. That's one of the most important things that you need to do. And then for frame rate, you have to click on automatic for key frames. Then for the actual frame rate, click on 30. That will guarantee your YouTube video to be in HD. I've made the mistake before that I used other frame rates. Make sure you use 30 for frame rate and keyframes automatic. And click frame reordering check as well. Quality, I would suggest best, of course. Since you, you are making an HD video, you might as well have it in the best quality. Then encoding, just do faster encode, which is single pass. Data rate automatic and optimized for download. Click OK, your 
video setting should be all set. Size, keep it at 1280 by 720 HD if you're doing that. If not, just use the other video dimensions that I mentioned. Click OK. Now for your sound settings, just do 44.1 kilohertz. I think that's what KHD stands for. Yeah, kilohertz per. Um, 16 bit in stereo. Then double check your options so that it's 44.1. And click OK. Click OK again. Here you want fast start and this box checked. Click OK. Then click next. Um, you can use the largest video size or a custom size, so 1280 by 720. And basically, remember, if you're making the HD video, 1280 by 720, or another way they it's called 720p H.264, whatever. Keep all these dimensions in mind. These are kind of your magic numbers that you need to make these HD YouTube videos. So click next, next, next. This stuff doesn't matter. Then you're gonna like title your video so HD video. That's what I'm gonna call mine. Then put it in which folder you want. Uh, keep your video. Then you click. Oh, and if you want to double check, so the file it's going to make is hdvideo.mov, click times movie, click on finish, and it's going to start running your project. Now keep in mind that these files can get pretty big because they're in HD and they have big dimensions, but if you really want to make HD videos, the time is worth it. Um, so I'm going to cancel because I'm not making the video now. And, um... Gonna click cancel again. And when you actually finish rendering your project, the video is gonna offer you to save your recording presets or ex sorry, exporting presets. And I recommend you do that because that way you can actually you can actually um, select the same preset each time, and won't you won't have to worry about the changing all the options and stuff. And by the way, whether you're working with like Sony Vegas Pro 8 or Adobe Premiere Pro or like Windows Movie Maker, just remember for an HD video, you have to have it in 1280 by 720 and H.264 encoding. So, as long as you have the settings, you should have a YouTube video that can be watched in HD. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, just contact me by sending me a personal message or by email. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe this video. And by the way, I make other video tutorials and stuff like that on the T-Mobile G1. So, if you got a T-Mobile G1 or you're just looking for other computer slash technical tutorials, you gotta subscribe to my channel because it'll help you out a lot.